On this episode, we travel back in time to 2006. Eric makes his way to South Africa and goes on an airgun safari guided by his PH, Andrew Myers. And it's all right here on Adventures Afield. When I was just a boy, my father helped me develop my passion for the outdoors. That passion quickly turned to an obsession. After spending the last three days hunting kudu on foot with no success, we decided to sit in a blind where kudu had been known to come in before. It was actually quite nice being able to sit in the blind and enjoy the view. Being my first time to Africa, this was all new sights, but some of us got kind of bored. These vervet monkeys were everywhere. They liked to go into the houses and destroy things. People shoot these like we do squirrels. The villagers will actually eat them also. As it started to get dark, we saw our first kudu. And it wasn't long until we had one come to our bait. the kudu crash over here about maybe a minute or two after I shot him. We're pretty certain he's down. Let's go see if we can find him.
sound we heard, he might have been jumping the fence. But it sounded like a pretty good crash. Check it out. Mature kudu bowl. Oh man, I'm really happy with this. We have exit. Shot him almost of a quartering shot, sort of a downward angle, the front of the chest on the opposite side. Came out halfway back of the animal. These are the hunter supply round nose. Um, that's some major penetration. <sighs> Hate to be stuck with one of those. I'd like to uh, thank Hanslo Safaris, Eastern Cape, South Africa. My, uh, my guide, Andrew. He's been with me for four days now. We've been trying to stock cootie bulls for four days. And today's the fourth day, and it's extremely hard to sneak up on these things because their eyesight so well, and there's so many eyes looking at you. We've been going up and down the mountains, trying to, or the hills, mountains, trying to, trying to sneak up on them, and it, it's extremely difficult. But uh, we finally, finally got one. Beautiful animal. Of course, my gun of choice is the Quackenbush. This one was uh, specially made for me. It's got the 32 inch barrel, it's a 457. Uh, it's tuned by Big Boar Bob. I'd like to thank Bob for that. Of course, I'm shooting the uh, Hunter Supply 510 grain hard lead round nose. They're doing about 750 feet per second, which is about 650 foot pounds of energy. Um, it's extremely accurate. The, the 510 grain has been the bullet of choice for me because of the accuracy. Uh, I was shooting the 600 grain, but the 510 is just really, really good in this gun. You know, most people say Africa is a once in a lifetime hunt. I'm not going to say that because I'd like to go back. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you ever get a chance to go to Africa, I highly encourage it. Check out Hanzo Safaris. They're in the East Cape. Uh, Andrew was my guide. He was fantastic. Again, thank you for watching. If you haven't done so, please subscribe. And remember, it's all about adventure.